Hello friends, in this video we will be synthesizing sodium perborate from easily available chemicals. Sodium perborate with its general formula being NaBO3 and number of H2Os and it has two sodium ions and a perborate anion and that is the perborate anion and you can see two negative charges on the boron atom which will be neutralized by the sodium ions. It has its use as one of the peroxide based bleach in laundry detergents. Materials required for the synthesis include sodium tetraborate commonly known as borax, sodium hydroxide available as lye and hydrogen peroxide available from medical stores as 3% I am using the 30% one though. Start by taking a 250 ml beaker and transfer the pre-weighed 24 grams of borax into it. After transferring the borax, now add 5 grams of sodium hydroxide which was pre-weighed into the same beaker. Then we add 150 milliliters of warm distilled water to dissolve the contents. I had to use a separate 100 milliliter and 50 milliliter graduated cylinder since I did not have a very large graduated cylinder. After adding the water, with the help of a glass stirring rod, stir the contents to dissolve it. Then we keep it in an ice bath to cool. After cooling, we add 28.3 ml of 30% hydrogen peroxide into this mixture slowly with stirring by the help of a glass stirring rod. We can also use 3% hydrogen peroxide but we should do the stoichiometrical calculation and add the exact amounts. And this is the reaction that is taking place. Sodium tetraborate reacts with sodium hydroxide and hydrogen peroxide to form sodium perborate and water. After complete addition of hydrogen peroxide, we will continue stirring with the help of glass stir rod for another 20 minutes. After stirring for 20 minutes, I kept it undisturbed overnight and you can see that crystals have started to form. You can see that complete crystallization has taken place. So now I filter the solution to collect the solid. I am using the gravity filtration method. After filtration, this is the crude product. After filtration, I did wash the crude product with a couple of number of times with ice cold distilled water and ethyl alcohol. After the washing step, I transferred the solid onto a tissue paper in order to dry it. After drying, this is what I got. With the help of a pestle, I powdered the compound into a very fine powder. After completely pulverizing the solid chunks in the compound, I stored it in an airtight container and labeled it.
I would like to take this opportunity to thank my Patreon supporters who have financially supported me so that I could get the materials required for doing all these experiments, including this one. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching my video. If you loved the contents of this video, do subscribe to my channel and click on the bell button so that you will get notified about my new videos. Stay home, stay safe.